Hello, wonderful people. Hibby Gunner here. And uh, this is kind of a diverging video from what I usually post, uh, but I figured I might as well record it. There's a lot of videos like this on the internet, but I plan on making mine a little bit simpler. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here in this Subaru is kind of make it a relative camper. I'm gonna use this as a shelf. This, you know, overlays a little bit. So if I push it out to here, where it kind of cuts off from the tire, I'll have like a nice little foot shelf here and I'll barely take up any room. A lot of people, they build cabinets out to like here and then you're stuck with like this little gap. And uh, I don't want to sleep in that. I'm a wide person, if you will. So uh, let's get to it. And uh, it should be fairly straightforward. Enjoying the day, are we? I have two four by four sheets four by four sheets uh, and yeah they're not perfect they're not uh, pristine they have some nails in them uh, that's besides the point that's not really anything to worry about as they say in triple x i want all that in there the first thing we're gonna do here is measure so the camera is on the shelf and from the shelf we want to bring it out to about Oh, I don't know, 10 inches, eh? So from the window, meaning right there, 16 inches ought to do. Okay, that goes on record from the window, 16 inches. I still want the shelf to not interfere with the seats going up. So in order to do that, I gotta come back to the seat mount, uh, which would be about Mm, 25 inches, 24 inches. Call it two feet by 16 inches. That's the first board I need to cut out. Let's get to it. <sighs> Ta-da! Huzzah! We have our board. Now, we have nails in this side and in this side. So, uh, the sacrificial lamb of the corner will have to be one with nails in it. I'm thinking this one, and then I can always do something about that. I can at least pound the nails out. Not a big deal. Uh, anyway, what you're not seeing here is that I have a stoppage here. So I need to make the cutouts for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure how much she comes out and this window comes out right to about eight inches and right seven and a half inches if you will uh that's what she said and that is our approximate window gap to be able to slide it in there. Uh, I'm gonna go cut it out and see what we got. Looks like, yeah, that'll work-ish maybe. All right, we're down in the mulch here. Should be fairly simple. So this is what we're looking at. I cut off that corner and I got my corner cuts here and that's about where that's gonna go. Now, I know it's not perfectly level or whatnot, but the seat should go right up underneath there. And uh, yeah, it's not bad. So I've run into a bit of a conundrum. Well, I have my shelf here. I wanna build the space in between, but the floor, I also wanna raise up and have a slide out board. So in order to get my measurements for the board, uh, I don't want to do anything too presumptive, so I'm going to build the platform right now. And it's going to go up to here so that I can fold the seats. And we have roughly 42 inches here. Don't want to exceed that. Using my genius and geniusing, I have figured out that I don't actually need the Subaru mat to cut out 
the ends where the wheel wells go because if i make it 42 inches meaning from there to there it'll just go straight to here theoretically so maybe i'm not a genius at all Okay, so not all that terrible. Seems to fit fairly snug. And I just figured out, I didn't even know these were in my car. I can use this one and this one and I can bungee across that or ratchet strap it, whatever. Uh, so then, you know, it's relatively secure. Now the problem I have right here is right here. So we have to cut these corners off, which is good because they have nails in them. Over to the other side, nails. So let's cut those off and uh, it should happily fit in here. Welp, welp, welp. Uh, the door did not shut because I need to shave about an inch off of that and it should fit perfectly. Well, that line unfortunately goes right over now. Well, here we are. I got my roof cuts down and, uh, well, the board's a little warped, so that'll have to be dealt with. Screw should take care of that. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what it's looking like so far. I'm pretty all right with that. That's still plenty of room in the back. Yeah, only sacrificing about eight to 10 inches on the, uh, well, why don't we find that out for sure? Hold on. All right, back to it. We are sacrificing nine inches off the side uh, in order to have a little shelf. Now I need to build stuff in here or I'm just gonna have it as a storage compartment. I don't know, we'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, now it's time to get a drill and some screws. Cool. All right, so my GoPro died, as GoPro batteries do. They are notoriously bad. But what I have here is uh, some slide-out drawers. I need to get some paracord. I'm going to put them in there. I think I'm going to cut this out. I don't know. I made a line because uh, you can see it's it's pretty poorly cut. You know, uh, I might look like Jesus, but I am not a carpenter. Anyway, um, these are going to be simple paracord handles so they don't get in the way. I can just pull them out. Uh, I have two of them. And then the shelf... The shelf, I've kind of made this uh, apparatus that goes into where you put the, uh, the, I don't know what you call it. Uh, this thing. Yeah. This thing no longer goes there. The shelf goes where it is. So it's held under by perfect tension in between these two boards. I can secure it with a bungee from right here to right up there. And then I also have this little tensioner right here that fits as I pull it out, and then you can lift it up. See how tight it is? Yeah. All right, so this is our slide out boards here. And uh, I don't really have a plan, except I have paracord, and I wanna go down with them so the knots will be up here. Therefore, I'm always pulling up and out, pulling up and out. Make sure I don't drill into my car, cause that would be lame. And drill. <laughs> And that's that with an ass tat. Go. Come on, get up through that hole. Get up through that hole now. Come on, man. Didn't bring any pliers with me. That would have been nice. All right. So, simple. Let's just tie a knot. See what that does. Tie a knot on that knot. And tie a knot on that knot. That'll be about that. Get our K bar. Cut across.
strange things are afoot at the Circle K. I want it to be about right there ought to be good. It's nice and simple. Yeah. So if we make a knot, tie a knot around that knot. And tie around a knot around, tie 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 knot 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 no round 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 that knot that that knot 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 knot, and that's speech. Same thing on the other side, fairly straightforward. All right, set these slightly off to the side there. Moment of truth time. Cool. Come on, baby. It is secure. Grab our cord, grab our cord. Need to pull one out, it's right there. Need to pull one out, it's right there. Oh yeah, how far can we pull them out? Oh, that's where they start to separate. So that's about the max that we can do. So, pretty cool, man. And then a lot of builds, and granted they are better than mine. I'm not gonna like act like this is superior in any way, but a lot of builds, they put them out to here and then they have this giant storage space. I don't really need that. Just use the car, you know, or use a roof rack or use something. Use the, the front seat. I don't know. Are you really gonna go camping with more than two people? If you are, bring a tent. Dude. Hi, buddy. Anyway, I just cut this off of a four foot board uh, to equal 42 inches to match our back here. I have a 16 inch board and a 12 inch board equaling 28 inches, which gets me almost up to my seats right here. That's about all the farther I want to go. I want to be able to stick my arm down there and uh, access whatever I need to. Hi, so I had an idea and it got me to this point. Um, I was going to put hinges right here and then it would flip up with the seat, but that's too complex for me. Um, I don't really want to mess that up and I don't want this to be permanently attached. This is almost entirely level the way it is. I could take my knife and just take that little edge off and I think I will. Uh, but right now this can fold up like that, place it in the back and put the seat up. That's pretty nifty. Okay. What we need for this K bar and Workout foam. So I'm gonna to try to build a shelf within a shelf. Now this will make more sense uh, if it's not crooked. <laughs> it's, you know, I'm not a carpenter. I am Fat Thor, not Jesus, Fat Thor. There, now I kind of need to redo what I did up top here, only with the bottom. The bottom is gonna be secured by having a good enough measurement that'll go into the wheel well here, and it'll sit on top of the wheel well. Now, uh, this is a preface, but I plan on putting all this with foam because it is scratching up quite a bit which is not very mint, but you know, as we build it, that's the R&R, uh, &R? no, not R&R, R&D, uh, yeah, R&D. Well, it's not secure yet, but that's roughly how it'll be. I uh, cut it out of a good old leftovers here. Not too shabby, I might say. Measure four times, cut it once. The foldable, chair thingy here uh the back of the chair remember how i just had the pieces and i wasn't going to do anything well i want to have that as you know pretty solid for laying down and whatnot but also what i want to do 
is create an attachment for an extension shelf. You have a shelf within a shelf with an extension shelf coming out the back. And I'll show you how I think I'm gonna do that. You are guaranteed to laugh at how stupid easy this is, okay? So the back sits against the rubber and the seat right here. Don't worry, I will get foam for that piece as well. But underneath you have the seat latch. And yes, I am just using a Sharpie to hold that together. I will go get a wooden dowel. Uh, it is within my disposal, but yeah, that's an extra shelf right there. And it, all it is, is just the piece that goes right here. So to undo it, you just pop that out. It stands relatively by itself. Fold this up, bam. So I think I'm mostly done with like the hard part. So I think what I'm gonna do here is do the art part, my favorite part. And uh, we'll jazz it up a little bit and then we'll put it all together. All I have left to do is add a little foam uh, so it doesn't scrape the crap out of my car, even though it kind of has uh, already, but you know, don't want to scrape it more. So I'll put foam around the edges after we do the art part. GoPro may be tough, may be able to go underwater, do all these cool things, might be able to film in 4K, but sometimes it dies. And uh, it's died twice today and I don't have another battery, so here we go. I'll just keep it as burnt pine and some shitty old plywood, which is what it is. And uh, we got our slide outs. I tend to like that. And yeah, that's pretty nifty. Now I'll show you the padding. So that's the padding, more or less. It's just some gym foam that makes, you know, plywood a little bit more comfortable. And uh, then I have this additional piece right here, which goes right up there. And I'll show you how that works. All right, so fairly simple, fairly straightforward. We got our pad, got our little wooden bell. That'll go down like that. And then this will go right here. And now we have room for both me and my significant other, probably my dog. So. What we got here is a car. Now, we have the rails. First up to go is the pad. We gotta get rid of the pad, so how do we fold that up? None of this is perfect, but we just fold our temporary sheet right here. Pop that out. Cha. Pop this up. Pack it up, pack it in, let me back in. Well, the idea is I'll just put this foam right up here, right? But we still gotta take all this out because that's what we're doing. So let's take all of it out. Great. Right? Yeah. Yeah, not terrible. You got room to sleep if you have to camp in? Yep. I want to do a camper. I want to redo a camper. Home on wheels. Down a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll take that out. Take this sideboard out. So you got it fixed where they all come out? Yep. That's pretty neat. Entirely reversible within a matter of minutes. That's good. Take the shelf out. Take off the tensioner. Move it straight up. Out. Take out the main board. Huh. So it's not permanent. Nope. Entirely reversible. Minus all the sawdust in the car. You can do more with it. 
Yeah. Plus, eventually, I'll sell the Subaru. Don't worry, Subaru. I didn't say that. <laughs> Perfect timing. You want to see it? What kind of hippie shit is going on? Let's see this reassembly. I'm very intrigued. I have my serious doubts. Step one. I still need to get your foam. That's something I need to do. Foam tape. I take it those are interchangeable left and right because they're going to matter. Yeah, it's math. Foam sliders. I love sliders. <laughs> slide. Yeah. There you go. Fit and finagle. Now those are... I put a gun on top of that. <laughs> but the shelf goes perfectly vertical. Got to find its gap there. Once it's in the gap, squeeze her down, put the tensioner in. She's set to go. Like this. There you go, the bed board. This. Her duder. So now it's all foamed in. So I put an extra shelf in here since you've seen me last. Yeah. So, in theory, like sleeping bag or water, kitchen stuff, battery pack. And, put that in there, that sits on the rubber. I have- Flipper genius. Genius! Yeah, extension shop. That takes up almost no room at all. I think it's pretty cool. I just like this. Watch out. Being stubborn. I don't know what to do with this anymore, because this used to go here. Uh, that'll just go to storage, and we'll figure it out from there. I can still put my seats up. Ah. That's where that Sharpie went. I was looking for that Sharpie for a while. So this is it, all packed up. That's everything that we need. Nothing else. Uh, and the moment of truth, you know, I gotta clean up sawdust and whatnot and uh, get some foam, but yeah, should lock. Bam, great success. Now comes the not fun part of cleaning all this up. Yay.